All right, this morning we're going to talk about how to move a file in PowerShell. And for those of you looking for the, the quick answer, let's say that we have a file. And uh, the file is in C, files, and it's file.txt. And we have an archive location. And it is in C, files, archive. The way we move a file is move item uh, from the where the file currently is, so right here, to in that folder. And you will see that it got dumped into that folder. So a really quick point. Um, again, those of you looking for the quick answer, uh, you could turn that into a function very easily and just pass these items in. Or you could actually type this out as well. I mean, I did it in an object-oriented approach. You don't have to do that whatsoever. Now, uh, for those of you who remember so far in our series, we've been kind of going over, we had in the, or I faced an issue where someone reached out to me and was like, hey, I'm doing something in SSIS, I'm trying to loop through files, and I need to rename a file. And I want to do it in SSIS, and you know it's it's archiving everything, and and my point was it's a lot faster in PowerShell to just rename the file. So let's see, it was the, this video right here where we were renaming a file for the purpose of um, for this SSIS package, and you remember we built that function. This is where it's at. So let's suppose that we actually wanted to just get rid of the end of the SSIS part. So the SSIS package, if you recall. Um, there's one daily file, we imported that file um, once a day, and so instead, the very end of the SSIS package, let's just go ahead and, and rename it. We could throw in um, the move item here. We would add another piece of this function, which would be the folder location. And then we would, after renaming the item, we would move new to this archive location which of course is C files archive. And so we could actually put that all in one function. So basically we have our rename and we have our move all in the same piece of the puzzle. And the reason why I say that is again, because we've discussed this before, but we can put PowerShell tasks in SQL Server agent. And so when we think about what we can do in PowerShell, it does minimize the amount that we have to do in SSIS, especially when it comes to troubleshooting SSIS. And that's important because um, if we have a very minimal amount happening in SSIS, then if it breaks, we know exactly what piece of the puzzle broke. So as you can see, moving a file is very easy. So even if you were going to archive multiple files, um, you could do, I mean, you could do something as far as like as, as something as short as a for each loop, or you could do something like star dot um, and the file name. So right here we're doing text files. You could do something along the lines of star dot text and what it would do is get all the text files. And so that way you could archive all the files in one bit. Now depending on how you um, go with this function, because this function is going with a specific file name, if you have multiple files, um, you'll want to build it for that. So, but that way you don't have to use, I mean, unless you just absolutely want to, you don't have to use SSIS as much as you think you do. But that way, uh, or this morning we've discussed, that's how you move a file. It's very simple. As you can see, um, with the object-oriented approach, it's just three lines of code. Again, you could put this all in one line of code if you wanted. You could easily, um, let's go back to this. Uh, you could easily just cut this out and put that in place of um, that F, and then you could cut this out and put that in place of that A and do it in one line. 